Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Xiaoban Liu. I'm from Graduate School of Management. Now, this afternoon, I'm going to present to you the project funded by ISSR. It's about water resource management. Now, earlier, Xiong and Bruce presented water quality management. I'm going to talk about water management from a different angle. It's about how to avoid waste. We should use the right amount of water. We don't need to waste water. We need to leave some for our next generations. So that is the focus of this project. As some of the background of this project, and then I'm going to present to you the aim and objectives. The project is called ACONS for the innovative consumer focused automatic system. Now, unfortunately, my ACONS, they are not film stars, they are not sports stars. My ACONS is a research project about water resource management. So, that is my sad academic life. Architecture of the ACONS solution. Outputs of the ACONS project. And finally, I want to say some thank yous. How did we start this project? In 2013, we had 13 of this one. We started with nine partners across EU. We submitted a proposal to EU, the SIP scheme, SIP, that is competitiveness and innovation program. Now it's integrated into the Horizon 2020 now. Uh, the proposal was backed up by our industry partner, the Southwest Water, with the headquarters in Exeter. Uh, the proposal scored 13 out of, nine, out of 15 points. It was ranked fourth among the 79 applications, but was not funded. They funded two projects in that pool. So thank to the ASSR uh, funded this project to encourage us to carry on uh, with investigating the ideas. The main aim of this project is to investigate a solution, integrated management solution for water resource management. The first idea we came up with we need a system. This system can actually integrate home users, industrial users, the water providers, policy makers. Now, as a home water a user at home, I had been hardly engaged in the past. I always thought when government or the company, when they wanted to make a policy, they talked about the sustainability of water resource management. I never had a, a say in it. So that's why we came up with the idea we need to engage home users. Most of the water domestic users, if we can change our behavior, that may actually save a lot of water usage. We defend lots of objectives. So the top three objectives, for example, especially number one, we think the sustainability requirements, we did not understand them very well. So that's the top object we wanted to better understand sustainability requirements and the criteria in water resource management. The consumer behavior, domestic users, industrial users, we have different behaviors. Can we educate them? Or maybe educate is not the word they want to hear. Can we actually influence them? The design and operations of what distribution network. Now we see what coming out of types. We think it's really simple, but the whole what distribution networks they are actually very complicated. During the visits, we have been to Southwest Water, Scottish Water. I started engineering myself, but it took me a lot of time actually to 
understand the water distribution networks, loads of pumps, loads of turbines, loads of different other pumps, valves, with loads of different configurations. So that actually was a very complicated process for us. So we wanted to have this idea, the design and the operations of the water distribution networks, they should be integrated. Not just to talk about water resource management, sustainability at the operations stage, that may be a little bit too late. Uh, the proposed solution for the Atkins system, the four main functions we think they are really important. So number one is the interoperability. If we want to engage home users, if we want to integrate industry users together with policymakers and also the water providers, we need a platform for them to communicate. We need a reference system for all of us to say the same thing, to refer to that single system so everybody understands how to work together. So that's the interoperability. Analysis capability that will provide us with two. We, now we are talking about big data era at the moment. Loads of data for all distribution network as well, so we need to be able to analyze data at two different levels. Now the low level analysis of course is the hydraulic data for water experts. They need to monitor how the water pressure, for example, exchanges during different times of the day. And we also need to be able to analyze the data at higher level, for example, the water price, how to make a good business model. Control capability obviously is for the control of those different components in the water distribution networks, valves, pumps, turbines, etc. If not a lot of people are using the water, if the pressure goes up, do we really want to cause lots of leakage? Or can we actually divert into some other sort of energy and then save? Visualization capability, that system, if we want to engage users, we need to provide good visualization capability for them to understand. Why do I want to save water? How can I save water? When would be the best time for me to use water? So all this information, knowledge exchange, user interface to integrate water consumers. So that's a visualization capability. This is the architecture we propose in the new, the, the most updated uh, architecture. There are loads of different components, but basically on the top, you can see there are different types of users engaging them. So we talk about interoperability. In the middle are those control capabilities and visualization capabilities. And at the bottom, loads of different components. So that's what we talked about earlier, about the valves, the pumps, etc. Now the articles of this ICOM project, we did a post presentation at the 2014 ESRC Festival of Social Science, and we received a very good feedback. Uh, we submitted a Horizon 2020 proposal yesterday afternoon at 5 o'clock. For us the time, so today is a very good day for me. Uh, we are going to present a paper at the 2016 International Conference on Decision Support Systems Technology in Plymouth. So the Euro Working Group on Decision Support Systems will organize the International Conference here in Plymouth and the theme will be decision support systems addressing societal challenges. So we are going to host uh, the conference here and we are going to present a paper from the icons. Uh, I want to say thank you to a number of people. We started the project with Southwest Water and then Scottish Water also gave us support. Uh, so the money funded by SSR is very much appreciated. 
uh, that gave me a lot of confidence to go into research investigating sustainability issues. And that project has brought me a lot of good luck. The things the SSR project I have been awarded three projects in the last year. So the number one, Horizon 2020 Marie Curie project that is in the multimedia service industry. My involvement is to contribute to investigate the business sustainability inside multimedia service. We are providing multimedia service to users. Are we providing the right service that are socially, economically viable? Are the service can be, our users, can they afford? Uh, that is in collaboration with colleagues from computer science. Now also I was awarded an Erasmus project to investigate the sustainability <laughs> in retail business. Now in the UK, retail business is the biggest employer. Now, about 17% of employees in the UK is in retail business. The labour market in retail business is not very good. And finally, I have been awarded a project together with Steve so in construction, sustainable construction. So in fact, thank you very much for your time.